Well, sandbars will be a popular place to hang out this weekend. Tens of thousands of boats are enjoying the Emerald Coast. News 13's Kimber Collins spoke with local law enforcement about Operation Dry Water, an annual initiative about safe boating. Law enforcement agencies are lining popular water destinations like Crab Island and Destin. The mission, Operation Dry Water. Our message to uh, people that aren't from the area and they're renting boats and they come out here is, number one, know your limitations. Know what you're capable of doing if you get yourself in a bad position. Number two, it's good seamanship. Um, not everybody doesn't need to park on top of, of one another. When we do that is when we start seeing a lot of problems. Okaloosa County deputies say the biggest hurdle has been the moving tide, pulling people and boats into problems. So this weekend has been pretty busy um, with, uh, we've had an outgoing tide. So when we have an outgoing tide is when we get a lot of our uh, distressed swimmers. We get a lot of uh, vessel crashes. In 2022, Operation Dry Water brought in 794 arrests for boating under the influence across the United States. Overall, Okaloosa deputies say incident numbers have been dropping based on rental companies better educating their customers. Our numbers aren't like what they have been in years past at this time, so that tells me that it's being successful. In Okaloosa County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. While Operation Dry Water technically ends today, July 3rd, law enforcement says they will still have a heavy presence out for the 4th of July. For more information on boater safety tips, you can go to our website, mypanhandle.com.